Okay, YouTubers and uh, flight sim enthusiasts, I thought I'd make a quick video showing what I use to fly and what I am building to fly. So I'm um, just using my little camera here. Let me swing around and <coughs> get where I can see. Um, I use uh, I do have a yoke. Uh, I've got a steering wheel back steering wheel back there as well. That right there would be my free track that I built for my infrared tracking. Uh, didn't need to use four LEDs, but did. Uh, don't ask me why. I thought four would be cool. So that's my yoke, my my infrared tracker, which works with my webcam right there. You'll see I've got a piece of film over it to block out the light that I don't want. And uh, of course, I've got the pedals down here next to the dog. Um, but most importantly, I've been trying to get away from the keyboard, and I hate having to use the keyboard because it's not like flying. So I started to build me my little cockpit, and I'm taking it just a step at a time. And the first step has been trying to get um, switches that I can use. So here is my first little mock-up that I've done. This is fully functioning. Um, as you can see, I've got it set for autopilot and lights at the moment primarily, so it's just kind of a test to see how things would work. And it's worked really well. So now I'm on to the next stage, which is the fabrication of something a little more permanent. So today I went up to the plasma cutter and um, started putting things together. This box right here, it's still kind of unassembled and not fully put together, as you can see. Anyhow, this box will mount underneath the edge of my desk and on the face of it will be some panels which I am still working on. Here is one of them. Uh, I've got a switch just kind of placed there for now. This is an actual Cessna switch and these all will be filled with other switches and buttons and whatnot. I've got one little hole that didn't cut too well and I need to clean out but I've got that one and then I've also got this piece here which will also have its own box and I will have one on the right side of me and one on the left side with space for the yoke to fit in between. So as this comes together I will post more videos and let you see how it's coming along. I kinda held off posting until I got something a little more solid but you can see that I'm actually you know getting this thing put together so that's the first box we're gonna make some changes we're gonna get rid of these tabs that we got right here what first we thought we were gonna have to make this so the full thing could so the thing could fully open but what we've decided is we're actually going to get rid of all these extra tabs that was going to screw it together and instead we're just gonna weld it into one solid unit because now that we can actually see it this opening here is plenty large enough for me to get my hand into to in order to place the electronics that are going to need to be in there. Uh, if you're wondering, this unit right here, it's more than just this. There is a little control module down under here. I don't know if we can see it. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. You'll see there is a module there that all these switches run to. And uh, I did have to purchase a copy of, uh, a registered copy of FSUIPC in order to get this to, to function and, and give me the controls that I want. But it's working. So I'll uh, throw a little video in with this so you can see the plasma cutting that was going on today. And as this comes together, I'll keep posting more vids. So there we go. Uh, my flight sim in progress. Uh, oh, and yes, I do use dual monitors. And for those of you who don't know why, I have my main flight there. And over here, I will place my GPS and my radio stack, which once these panels are all up and running, will fully operate. So, well, they won't operate the GPS yet. That'll be a third unit that I've got to put together later, and I still haven't quite decided how or if I'm going to do that at this point. So, that's where we're at. Good flying, everybody. And uh, I'm actually in flight school now, so it's more than just flying on the computer. I'm, I'm working towards doing the real thing, and one advantage to that is I get my buddies that can hook me up with uh, actual Cessna switches. I've got that, and over here in my little box of goodies I've got you know more actual switches that uh, are used in planes and the coolest one is this I have an actual flap switch from a 
small airplane. So this should all come together nicely. Let me know what you think.